Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about no feet snatch. This is something that you guys may have been seeing that I've been doing a lot recently, like no feet powers, no feet snatches, no feet everything. Hannah's been doing it. So no feet snatches is a variation exercise. It's basically a way to trick your body into learning how to move more effectively um, and getting a better turnover on the snatch. Now, I'm going to be speaking specifically about the snatch in this video. Um, I may do another video with no feet power snatches or no feet cleans, no feet power cleans. Just let me know in the comments below if you would like that. If you do like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel because it would mean the world to me. Um, it means I can keep creating really cool content like this. So if you find that you are losing your snatches forward or looping them back, using no feet snatches will help you fix that by one, teaching you to finish tall by forcing you to stay flat footed for longer. Two, teaches you to be patient and bring the bar into you instead of going to towards the bar, meaning you're pushing the bar away, and never to be pushing the bar forwards. Teaching you to be patient, as you can't jump, there isn't much room for error, so you'll be forced to keep it closed the whole time, avoiding any looping back or pushing it forwards. So basically it forces you, and teaches you to keep it really, really close. It teaches you to be smooth, fluid, and connected with the bar, learning to feel where the bar is and how to place it where you need it to be, improving turnover. Basically. Because you're so connected with the bar for so long on no feet snatches, because you're forced to keep it closer and forced to stand tall with it, you learn where the bar is at all times throughout the lift. That connectivity with the bar is so helpful when trying to learn how to like snatch properly. Like I was mind blown. It also teaches you to switch on your arms and pull yourself underneath. As there is no movement in the feet, you'll need to pull and place the bar exactly where it needs to be. Like, especially me, I'm quite strong at the hip. So when I make contact at the hip, if I don't pull with my arms, that bar is going forwards and I'm going to miss that bar forward. So doing these no fit snatches has forced me to pull up with my arms and ensure that the turnover is really, really good. So you might be thinking in hand, like when am I supposed to use these no feet snatches? Now these can be used as a primer exercise, so you can do them before you actually do your normal snatches. So like do them as like a prep exercise, then you go into your normal snatches feeling a little bit like you've practiced that movement a bit more and drilled that in a bit. Or you can use it as a whole replacement exercise for like a block. So for me, I ended up doing no feet snatches for like, I think it was between six and eight weeks, just drilling week after week, no feet snatches. Believe you me, it was frustrating. But we came out with a much better bar path and I actually think I have an idea of what a snatch actually is. So depending on how advanced of a lifter you are will determine how you are able to load it. So I started super low um, and then just built up. So I think the first week I did like 50, 55, 60 and then the week after that I did 55, 60 and stuck around there for a long time trying to just get that movement pattern going and build that. I was looking for more consistency. Um, because I didn't feel like I wanted to go up if I didn't hit those lifts like you know when you hit a lift And it's so smooth and you're like, I don't really know what just happened I got those like a few times in the session and I wanted to make sure that by the time I got to 60 65 above 65 That those were feeling like that and we did get there. We did get there. Yes yeah, so As I said it can be quite a mind boggle So just be patient be humble and work hard every session will hit differently So just be prepared to walk away sometimes feeling like you've absolutely nailed it and sometimes feeling like you really haven't nailed it <laughs> I was like had sessions where I was like really really happy and then sessions where I walked away really sad But that's just the nature of the game So things to look out for when you're doing no feet snatches to be honest I just film your first few sets and your warm-up sets just to get an idea of where you're going right and where you're going wrong Especially if you don't have a coach there with you because it can be quite confusing and not you can't like sometimes you can't really be sure where you're going wrong or where you're going right so here are some things just to watch out for so just watch the bar and see if it is moving forward so if your momentum is forward and you're moving forward toward the, towards the bar instead of bringing the bar in just think to pull in and bring your chest up throughout the whole lift and just keep squeezing all the way up like chest up chest up chest up and that might help fix that for you if you're coming onto your toes early i.e if your feet aren't flat when you reach your hips try to be patient and think stay over for as long as possible like patience flat feet at the hip enables you to push with your legs and pull with your arms so just try and think like that you have as much time as you need like these exercises allow you to have that extra time to spend bringing it in nicely at the hip and then just standing nice and tall with that bar so if you find that when you are making contact the bar is like way in front of your body which is something that I struggle with a lot like as soon as I was about to make contact I immediately think like turn on those arms get those arms ready 
to guide that bar to where you need it to be. Pulling yourself under and placing it where it needs to be. Essentially getting a better turnover. If you're feeling like unstable in the catch or you feel like there's something a bit funny going on there, as long as you don't miss it, like I found that these new pulling positions were making me feel all kinds of funk. It's just getting used to that new catch position that may be less forwards or maybe less back and maybe just right. So just give yourself some time. I hope that you guys have found this video super helpful in some way. Um, I found these no feet snatches so helpful in teaching me to pull under and use my arms as I'm really, really strong at the hips and often just bang it out in front of me or lose it out behind. So I found these really, really helpful and couldn't be happier with how my snatches are moving now as opposed to how they were before. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel because it means the world to me that you are all here watching this video and I will catch you in the next video.